What's up everybody, JC here with jazbeescasebreaks.com. It's a new release day and it is a new release and new product from 2019-20 Upper Deck. This is Stature Hockey, brand new product, brand new release. Uh, 12 box case break picker teams number one. So this is the first time they're trying out Stature. It looks very, very nice on the sell sheet. And again, we're gonna give away $100 in break credit if you buy two or more teams. So the way to get entered in is just buy two teams in this break. You buy two teams, you get one entry. You buy four teams, you get two entries. You buy six teams, you get six, uh, three entries, etc., etc. No max entries. So, at the end of the break, we'll get these customer names, see who bought in two spots or more, and then we'll see who's going to win $100 in breaker. It doesn't say that we're going to give away 50 each, so it looks like just one person, winner take all, 100 bucks. So there you go. Very nice. So we'll do that at the end of the break. This is picker team number one. There you go. Very nice. Jeremy gets last ball Mojo Hurricanes. And it looks like Stature is a 12 box inner, so 24 box master. So pick your teams number one and two will be from the same master. But there'll be two inners, it looks like. So we'll go left or right. One, two, three for the left side, four, five, six for the right. And it is a five. One, two, three, four, five, six. So this right here will be for PYT number two, which actually is sold out. So that'll be coming up next after this as well. Again, eight cards per box, or one pack per box, eight cards per pack. So not many hits coming out of here, but it looks like there could be some monstrous hits coming out of this. Just by looking at the sell sheet with the players, and looking at the checklist. So there you go. Kind of reminds you of a little ingrained box, Ultimate Collection style box. Ultimate Collection Hockey is coming, I think, next week, guys. Or Premiere is one of those two. Premier is definitely like the second best to the cup hockey, so that should be fun. So definitely we're in the prime month or two of hockey products coming out from Upper Deck. Um, a lot of the big ones are going to start coming out, and then cup at the end of the year in October, November to end off the 1920 season. All right, so first card, look at that. It looks very beautiful. Nice, sharp, Doug Gilmore. That's just a base, but look at that. Beautiful base. Very nice. We got Seth Jones. I mean, if these are just the base cards, guys, I mean, damn, these are nice base cards. Kind of gives you that old tribute feel. And they're like kind of shiny at one point. Now, I don't know if this is just a base. Yeah, it's just a base, but look at that. Beautiful. Century Moments, Patrick Kane. Yeah, you would think of that. <laughs> All right, here's the first numbered one. That is Josh Brown. <laughs> That's funny, man. Uh, out of, uh, looks like, three ninety nine. dollars Jinx, Riffer. I said it first. John Tavares. Ooh, that looks nice. Out of 149 Agent of the Welcome, man. Thank you. Good luck, buddy. All right, and the first numbered century marks, Ray Bohr. That's out of 49. Man, these the cards look beautiful. Jeez. Upper deck, man, just, just always killing it. Avalanche with that one, going to Jacob. Yeah, Anders Lee. 85. I would not be disappointed just getting base cards out of this, to be honest. And there's our first autograph. It's a rookie uh, 
Reliance. Mackenzie. McGurchin. For the Blues. St. Louis Blues. It's going to Ryan Harold. And we got Kale McCarr. Number to three ninety nine. So again, you either get you get for sure one autograph, or you get an additional autograph, a numbered rookie, or insert, I believe. So there you go. That's pretty nice. So this would be considered the second hit. I think it said that on group break checklist, all right? It said or sorry. Yeah, it says you get one of each, either autograph or autograph patch. A base rookie to 399, an insert, century moments, esteemed rookie or relance, and then two of the each, either veteran base, legend cards, numbered parallels, and one additional autograph, rookie, parallel, or insert. Cards are sharp, guys. Get it while you can. I think we're only able to get two master cases today, so that rolling. I right, rookie Reliance for the Hawks. Jacob with that one. Let's actually just do this. These are all going to just be like numbered cards, right? Actually. That would be it right there. These are all just base. Chris Chelios. Sean Cuddy, yeah, I, I was like that too when I was young, when I first started like breaking. You get like too close to your fingers and it scares people like, oh yeah, cut your finger off. Adam Fox, rookie. I think he's fine. Glenn Hall. Ooh, that's number to 85. Sharp looking card, man. Dang. And Adam Fox on card to 199. So this one's gonna have two autographs. Rangers, that's going to Ryan Harrell. <laughs> exactly, there you go. We got Morgan Frost, that's number to 35. Very nice, man. These cards are nice. Man, these cards are nice, guys. And we got, uh, we got for the Devils, actually not Jack Hughes, it's Brandon. What is his last name? Gignac or Gignac? Gotta look that one up. Uh, we got for the Devils, that's Matt Buckler. Uh, Adrian, it just depends on what break uh, in the item description. So if you bought into Luminance, it'll tell you in the page if we ship everything. Uh, most likely, for most heavier base stuff, we usually don't, but it really just depends on what it says in the item description. You know what I mean? So it really just depends. But yes, I think everything ships in this. I don't think we're holding back nothing. Not many cards anyway, so I don't think you need to worry. If you're talking about stature, it should ship. Ooh, look at that. Esteemed Sidney Crosby. Yeah, these cards are sharp, guys. Super, super sharp. Carlson. Trent Frederick. My boy Jonathan Quick. I didn't. I actually didn't study the checklist, so I don't know if Gretzky's only in with the Oilers. I assume. I don't think he's with the Kings. I think I looked at the Kings checklist. I don't think he was part of the Kings, but is he part of the Blues? I know he's Oilers for sure. That'd be kind of funny though. They don't put him in like Kings, but they put him in Blues. <laughs> We 
We got Eric Stahl on card. Esteemed autographs. Minnesota Wild. It's going to Mark. No, I know, I know what teams he was on, but I'm just saying it'd be kind of funny that they put him in the Blues, but not the other teams he played. I mean, he was with the Blues for like what half a season. <laughs> I mean, I know they did that one time for one year in cup hockey, where they put him in a blues uniform, and people were kind of like, what the hell? But I think he's only in the Oilers. I remember I looked up for the Kings, and he wasn't on there. But let's look it up really quick. So Gretzky, Oilers, 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 Oilers. Yeah, he's only with the Oilers. Everything Oilers. Because the Kings would have been a great buy if he was in there with the Kings. So really, the Oilers are pretty loaded. Because not only do you have Gretzky, you have obviously the other man named Connor McDavid. I don't know if Leon Dreisaitl's in this. We got Eric Brownstrom. Yeah, the Oilers are loaded. I mean, it just matched up so perfectly, right? You get the great one with the Oilers, and then you get the next supposedly great one with the Oilers. <laughs> get drafted by him, and he's just a superstar. It's like some straight up, like, you know, Payne Manning ish to like Andrew Luck before he decided to retire. Whoops. Sorry. Sorry about that, Eric Stahl. Max Jones. We got uh, Ryan O'Reilly. <laughs> it's cold. It's cold, almighty. Damn. <laughs> Blake Wheeler. And we got Noah Dobson to 49, man. This is a beautiful looking card. I love that everything's on card right now. That's what I like to see. Islanders going to John Paul. I hope he wins one. I really think that's going to help him out. That's some straight up like, you know, Ovechkin and Crosby thing where it's like, he needs to get one at least. Just get one and that'll cement you right away. I mean, obviously, if you can get multiple like Gretzky, that'd be great, but... I mean, really, all you really need is one. Philip Sedina. And we got Nick Suzuki. Oh, yeah, you're right. Yeah, he's not really... I don't even think he's... He's the one that had the clutch runs, right? So that's the... Where's that one at now? Oh, you're thinking that he gets traded to the Rangers? And he... What is this? I think if history repeats this, why does he get traded to like the Kings? And actually win one. It's a Mark Messier style or what? To go, to, go to the Rangers and win one? Willie O'Ree for the Bruins. I don't know. I really feel that Matthews is going to leave eventually and get go to Phoenix. Paul Grundstrom. We got a little Nico Heischer. John Carlson. And nice, Philip Zadina, number to 35. That is nice.
Yeah, I mean, I think Matt, well, Matthews is locked in there for at least, what, another five years? But I, I just feel like he's an Arizona boy. I think he is, his, one of his dreams is to play for the Coyotes. And uh, I think Coyotes are building something really nice over there. So I think he'll be there soon. And, ooh, this looks very nice. Out of 15, the black one looks really, really cool. For the Bruins. Steve Birch with the Bruins. This one looks very beautiful. Yeah, I definitely want to collect a rainbow with one of these now. You know? For sure. We got a Hainola. And remember this guy when he won the Stanley Cup? How excited he was? Couldn't stop yelling. That dude partied for weeks. You guys see when he was beer, <laughs> when he was like a beer stand, kegging whatever. Uh, at a, who was that? At? Was that was that outside the Nationals game? In like the water fountain, man, that was crazy. <laughs> That's the way you're supposed to celebrate when you win. What up, Ryan? Yeah, this statue looks pretty good, man. They definitely hit it out of the ballpark. Dude, I mean, Ovechkin drinks at least, like, a bottle of vodka every night before he plays, so... I'm sure he was fine, right? <laughs> like, in his Gatorade bottles, I'm sure it's vodka. Pedersen. Kotakan Yemi. I mean, I I needed that for that guy. Like, I wanted him. I wanted him to win so bad. Like, it just matched up so perfectly. He deserves it. And again, the way he's playing, I think he's gonna catch Gretzky's goal record for sure. I remember saying this like almost eight, nine years ago, when he was just like, when people were like, man, if he really keeps this up for like nine, ten years, this is gonna get pretty close. And I was like, man, I think he's gonna do it. And then now, seven, eight years later, you're just like, damn. If he could just average another 40, 50 goals for the next at least four years, he's, like, right there. He's going to pass up a lot of people next season, though. Trevor Moore. That's the most amazing thing. Look, I'm, I'm, I'm not old school. I'm the new generation. I'll tell you, Gretzky was very talented. Good passer, good overall, but he was not scoring on goalies this good. <laughs> like, it's so much harder to score now. Goalies have definitely changed in the last 10, 15 years. So you really have to give Ovechkin some real credit. He's probably the purest goal scorer in NHL history. Carter Hart, nice one there to 35. That's a big one there for the Flyers. Derek Hamilton, you know. It's just, I, I mean, I talked to this with my wife because she understands the, the greatness of Gretzky, but I don't think you really look in depth of what he did when he played. Like, he put up video game numbers. Like, it was just ridiculous. Like, I was telling you the other day, like, Yager is so close to, like, so close, uh, what is it, in points to be second. And Gretzky would still beat him out with just assists alone. Like, like he'd still be the highest scoring uh, uh, score in NHL history with just his assist. And that's not even adding his, like, 900 goals. It's, 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 it's crazy. It's just something crazy to think about. And people don't really realize that. What he did was just amazing. I mean, it's just something you can't. Like, that'll never be broken. It's just too hard. And, you know, Yager could have gotten really close, you know, to breaking all that stuff if he didn't leave to Russia for a couple years. You know what I mean? So, but, you know, obviously, he left to Russia to the KHL for a couple seasons. So, I think that kind of hurt him. But, yes, he definitely was so much better than everybody. Right? He was, he was like, you know, he was like Jordan. He was just, uh, he wasn't part of that, you know, he was just too good for his time. But I also do think that he would have been really good in this era, too. I just don't know if he would have scored as many goals, you know, as maybe he did. I don't know, that's just me, though. I know some people probably get offended by that, but... But, like I said, Ovechkin is still on his way, and it doesn't look like he's slowing down anytime soon, so... 
I think he's gonna break it. I think he'll get really close and he'll break it. I think that definitely that's his motivation. Not Roy. Because he's right there. I mean, he really is. Ben Bishop. I mean, Ovechkin did lose, like, what, 12 games? So they shortened the season, right? They lost, like, 12 or 8 games. He probably could have got to 50. Maybe another 4 or 5 goals. But it looks like the season will be back to normal next year. So he should be able to get his normal 40 again. And, you know, get much closer. Yeah, Ovechkin right now is number 8, right? He has 706 goals. He has to get to Gretzky at 894. So basically call it like 200. So by the start of next season, he's going to pass Mike Gardner for 7th all time. He has 708, so he'll score 2 goals right away. So he'll definitely move up to number 7. Carey Price, ooh, the red looks nice. And then at 717, which would be another what? 15 goals later he'll pass Phil Esposito he should get to Marcel Dion at 731 by the end of the season that's just saying he had a low season and only scored like less than 30 now realistically if he scores at least 50 next year or at least 40 to 50 he'll get to Brett Hall at number 4 at 741 which is pretty crazy 741 Max Jones for the Ducks then I think that'll be it for him if it is a full season and he does score 40 to 50 then start of next season or two years from now, Yager's at 766, so he'd have to score at least like 25 more goals, which he should. And then probably be 15, 20 goals away from Gordy Howe at 801 at the end of two seasons from now. Then obviously it's going to get crazy because then he's still like 90 goals away from, from, from Wayne Gretzky, so he's going to have to score again another 40, 50. Kirby Dodge, that's a nice one there for the Hawks, but I think he's going to do it. I think he's going to do it. Nice one there for the Hawks. And we got a nice one here of Mario Lemieux for the Pittsburgh Penguins. Going to dog. No, it's true. But I just don't think he has any... Uh, he hasn't showed any signs of slowing down. If what he's actually done is adapted much better. He's actually starting to pass a little bit more rack of more points with assists and I think he's avoiding at least for the most part I mean he's still hitting people <laughs> you know like he always has but I think he's trying to avoid all that because that's what's really going to kind of slow him down is taking those big hits and those big shots but I don't know he's just a different he's just a different animal that's all that's a nice little Gretzky base right there Blake Wheeler Adam Fox. Warno. Claude Drew. Dylan Larkin. And a nice little Tyler Sagan. This guy's just tatted up. I think it was like the first one to be super, super tatted, right? Or at least as of recently. Nice little black version out of 15 of Ray Bork. With that one, and then we got a little Kirby Dodge here.
Alright, next one. Blake Wheeler. Little Connor McDavid. Miko Rantanen. Joel L'Esperance. Team was aligned for the Jets. We got Carter Regehi. We got a Connor Clifton for the Bruins. Jack Eichel. And we got a little Bobby Orr out of 25. Beautiful looking card. And that's a 20, 20 out of 25. Steve with the Boston Bruins. Nice looking card right there. All right guys, still three more boxes. I'm not sure, Smokey. I think it's a little bit, man. Uh, so, I think let's sell out the break first, and then we'll figure out how many spots needs to be put back in. Because I think it's a little bit, man. Um, yeah, we have to do basically sell out pack number 120, sell out pack number 121, and then sell one, two, three, four, five spots. So, five spots and then two sell out packs. Pasternak. Yeah, I feel like Brad Marchand. <laughs> you love him be because he's a Bruins player and you're a Bruins fan. If you're, you're not a fan of the Bruins, I don't think you like that guy. <laughs> we got Mario Lemieux. Nice little red right here at a 75 or no. We got Fabro. We got our first patch autograph. It looks very nice. Out of 35, that's Nikita Gusev. That's a good rookie too. Uh, Matt Buckler, there you go. No, I mean, we're not saying he's not good, Kevin. It's just, I just don't think, yeah, I, I just kind of think that River kind of saying Draymond Green a little bit. I think we just hate, hate, uh, <laughs> Brad Marshawn a little bit more than, than, uh, than Draymond. Although, yeah, it's true. I kind of don't like Draymond either. But. Yeah, if he could just put up 60 points without the licking and, and stuff like that, I think he'd be fine. <laughs> and some people do like to say he's a little dirty, so. McDavid.
Daniel. We got Trent Frederick. And we got a Nikolai Prohorkin to 45 to, for my Kings. Jacob Nass with that one. Oh, sorry, Jacob K. Carter Brigahe, rookie Reliance. Capo Caco for the Rangers. You all right? And we got a Peter Forsberg. Man, this guy, if he didn't have those injury problems, Peter Forsberg, man, was so, so good. My brother's a big Kings fan, got me into hockey as a little kid, but he loved Peter Forsberg. Although he hated him when he was on Colorado, but <laughs> he was so good. He's, I think what was nagging him was what, his foot, right? He's always, always breaking his foot and stuff. You know, back in the day when they had blades, you know, like the ones you put on the, you know, when they kind of got rid of wood sticks, but in a way they had like the carbon fiber ones, but you kind of just take the blade off, you know, you melt the glue and put it back on. I forget what those are called, but I always used to get the Peter Forsberg blade cut. I always liked his, like, his, uh, his curve. Brad Marchand. Phil Kessel, Yokes, and Cody Glass. That's a nice looking little rookie there for the Vegas Golden Knights. Maybe, maybe before COVID I can lick this card, Kevin, but <laughs> after COVID now, I mean, during COVID, I don't know if that's a good idea. Falter. Abramov. Nico Heischer. We got Rookie Reliance for the Carolina Hurricanes. That's last spot mojo there for Jeremy. Yeah, guys, this, this stuff is really, really nice. It's, it's definitely... I, I think we're going to sell out right away, guys. I think we're going to sell all these out. And we got a little Elia. Toronto Maple Leafs. And there you go, guys. That was the break. This was Stature Hockey 12 box case break. Figure team number one. Very, very nice stuff. We got one patch autograph. Nice little Bobby Orr out of there. Very, very nice stuff here, guys. Sharp, sharp looking cards. Carter Hart. Zadina. A lot of other stuff. Everything's going to be top loaded for you guys. So I just kind of sleep everything as well. So, all right, guys. So, stature number one in the books. Let's give away $100 in break credit. Winner take all. So, Barry, you got two spots. You get an entry. Christopher with two. You get an entry. Derek one. Don, you get two. You get an entry. King D, you get an entry. Fred, Jacob, K, you get an entry. Jeremy, you get an entry. We'll give you my last spot mojo in there. John, Josh Pruce, both of you guys got an entry. Kevin, Mark, you get an entry. How about there, Nick, Rick, Ryan with two, Scott with two, you guys get an entry. Bruins, and Steve. Steve had a great break with the Bruins. Alright, so there you go. You guys are in. Customer number one gets $100 in break credit, and let's roll it. And it's Snake Eyes just two times. Two times. Good luck, guys.
One, two. And after two times, it is Jacob. Okay, congratulations, man. $100 in break credit coming your way. Appreciate you guys. Number two is coming up next.